the UK uh, loves the product because it's so unique. There's, there's nothing in the UK like what Pangea has. Whenever people see it for the first time, they either love it straight away or they might say they don't like it, but then they come back and they end up buying something and they fall in love with the product. Tumetoka mbali kwa hii kazi. Kitambo tungeweka vitu zetu barabarani huko. Tungeunda tukiuza barabarani. Lakini tangu tukutane na penjia ametubadilisha ya kwamba sasa tunaweza unda vitu na wanaenda wanatuuzia huko UK Everyone loves the big sculptures I mean we've had a couple of rhinos come in and they go straight away the feedback is fantastic a lot of people love to know what's going on out here you know how they're made where they're from how we're helping the people out here um, and you know it's, it's proud I feel proud to work for Pangea because of the help they offer Moses and the team. The relationship has um, always been good. Uh, sometimes we have communication issues, not through any fault of any ind anybody at all. Um, just uh, obviously there's a time difference and sometimes with obviously what Liz has to do here at the showroom and in the factory she doesn't always have internet access. Obviously things have improved. Um, we've also brought somebody else into the business who's based here in Nairobi and Andrew is now helping with the communication um, which is really uh, a big plus point for Pangea. I have this new role here as a consultant. I was chosen for this particular role is because I've dealt with both ends from the supplier side because I've, I've done curios for about 15 years. So I've done the supplier side. I know how frustrating it can get when you can't get orders on time, finished on time, and I know the lingo to use with the suppliers. I know the logistic side, how the containers, where they're supposed to be taken, how they're supposed to leave the, the port, when they're supposed to be loaded and stuff like that. Well, obviously, originally we started off with um, just the giraffes, the elephants. Uh, they were the, the main sculptures, a lot, along with a few other pieces. And we've broadened the range now. We've introduced lions. We've recently introduced the cheetah. And we've just asked for some new um, products to be made, um, one being the cobra, because we get asked a lot for snakes in the UK. Um, Moses is developing that now, and it's looking really, really good. We've also got the leopard and the tiger. Tangu wakuje kwa hii kazi yetu, tumeenda mbali. Tulikuwa tunafanya biashara kidogo, sa hii tumepanua. Ikawa tuko na medium workshop, na tulikuwa watu chache, sa hii tumekuwa wengi, na tunakulisha familia wengi sa hii. Before, most of the things we are doing were just analog, Right now we are digitalized, we, like, uh, we don't have to like, use phones, mostly we didn't used to email. Nowadays we, we email, we, we have um, stuff like laptops that we use in business that we didn't used to have. There we can be able to store whatever we have and maybe get to know what, what we have in the, in the store, what we have in the sea. Kwangu kupanya kazi hapa. Ina refresha ya kwamba kuna wale pia watu wana benefit ni mangu. Na ya nina fraa sana. Nituweza kufanya kazi hivi. Ndiyo naweza kuwa na nguvu zaidi. Nena na kuwa na BD. Ndiyo manake na penda hata vijana wenye wako nyuma wenye wapenzi kufanya kazi. Wakiaja wanaweza kuja wafanya kazi hapa. Na waweze kupata benefit. Wangu kama saa hii. Hii kazi minisaidia sana. Kulingana na benye maitaji zangu. Saa hii naona niko sawa. Na watoto pia wanasoma. Mi mwenye pia niko sawa kwa nyumba pali naishi. I'm skilled in all animals, especially elephant, lion, giraffes. So long as they give me a picture, I can make it the way it is. I do feel proud of myself because what I make with my hands, I mean, they have reached so far. 
we really do sculptures here. We work here as artists. We really appreciate our boss here, the way he's so kind and the way he does work with us. There are some people behind us, like my mom, dad. I used to help them <coughs> with this work. My children, I'm educating, I'm, I'm educating them through this work. Panja, to give us the bulk of work, we really appreciate because we are not idling and we, we usually work every day, not unless you're sick or, or whatever, but we work here to keep ourselves busy. Let them just give us bulk of work the way they, they have been doing. We really appreciate it. Pinja has really helped a lot in, in expanding this business in such a way that we've, we've been able to put up a, a structure that can accommodate 20 workers, 20 employees, in that they make their products over the, that side. And then we have a display like this one right now, where we now uh, show whatever we have made, the product that we have, that come from their orders, actually. We want to continue to develop the relationship that we have with Moses, and obviously look into the future um, looking at ways that we, we can work on that together and obviously we, we've got a couple of meetings while we're here with Moses just to really talk about um, how we, we can develop what, what is happening out here. I know Moses would like more space within the factory, that's something that he's discussed a couple of times. So we need to um, have a look at ways that perhaps we can help with that. Siku moja tukiwa na penje, tunatarajia kaji itakuwa kubwa na tutaleta watu wengi wa vijana wengi watafanya kazi na hii itakuwa tu tukishanunua kiwanja yetu sasa tutakuwa tukilipa rents mingi naye tukileta wa vijana wengi kazi ikiwa mingi tuleta wengi nafikiri hawa pia wako na mahitaji yao na wako na watu wanakulisha sasa tunaona kama watu wengine pia watafaidika na wengine pia One of our, our our biggest things really is just to continue developing and helping the entire community in Nairobi rather than just making money from selling sculptures it's it's more than that to us because that's important to everybody back in the UK as well